powder. Today I like to show you how I make my own pesto sauce. And today I used 10 huge tomato, 2 green pepper, 4 or 5 cloves of garlic, and a 1 teaspoon oregano, 1 red jalapeno, and basil, I cut later, and a red jalapeno one, I slice it, I use this way. So I'm not use this, I just show you a whole one, let's put here, and 1 teaspoon salt, half a medium size red onion, so I used a cheese and 1 cup, 200 milliliter, you have to use this. So now I slice my tomatoes, 4 5 pieces, sometimes I take out the skin, sometimes not, today I'm not take out the skin because I make a chunky sauce. So when I take uh, out the skin I always make a little X and you have to put a hot water 2-3 minutes after you just take out the skin. So let's start slicing. Just 4 pieces this and I put a ball. So now I again, I always cut this area because I don't like it and this white I always take out. So now we just cut again 4, 5 pieces because you cooked so. So what I cook, this is a nice and a rustic sauce. See, very easy. So here is nothing fancy, very easy and very tasty. Now let's slice our peppers and the basil. Basil I'm just doing this way. Very easy. See? And sometimes I put a little leaves. I'm not cut this. So a pepper is just this way. Again, this is not fancy, very easy made it. So today I use this for a pasta sauce. When you cook a pasta, you don't have to use all the pasta sauce. You have to take out what you need and mix with the pasta. And this is very good, very easy. So, let's be done. I have to tell you something else. When I finish cooked the pasta sauce, I always put top of pan of fresh basil. So, here is a tomato. Let's start cooking. So, here is a tomato. Now, we put a 1 teaspoon salt. And the garlic. Basil. Onion. Chili pepper. Okay, <laughs> pepper is not a, not a <laughs> chili pepper, this is a jalapeno. Sorry. <laughs> you know, because I put everything for a recipe. So, this is an oregano. You have to use the oregano because when some people eat a tomato sauce or something and have a heartburn. So, you put the oregano, oregano out some acidity and your stomach is not burned. So, now, so add a pepper. And first I cook 20-25 minutes and you have to stir every 10 minutes because you don't want to burn or stuff. So I come in back and show you more. So when I finish cook the pasta sauce, I show you I cook the pasta and how I serve it. Bye.
it's been 20 minutes and I come in back 20 minutes later so hi my sauces looks like this just need time so we left here so I put here for a pasta five cups of water when a water is boiling you have to put a one teaspoon salt my pasta order is boiling, so I add a pasta. I put one teaspoon salt. And I cook this 10 minutes. We check the pasta sauce. It's almost ready. See? When is the pasta ready, a sauce is ready. I can show you. So everything is ready. Look at this pasta sauce, it's really, really good and thick. We need this. A pasta is ready, I drain and after I coming back. So I drain. And uh, don't put oil before you put the sauce. Because you put the oil, is a, a pasta sauce is not thick. So today I use the whole wheat pasta. So let me show you how I serve it. I put the pasta here. And now I put the sauce. Here and let's put a basil. So I put a little bit parmesan cheese on top of that. So now I finishing, I put a little basil oil. And this gave you a very, very good taste. Bon appetit. Very good smell, very good taste. Try it. So this is my pasta sauce and you could do it for your friend or you visiting somebody, you bring one uh, pasta sauce and one uh, boxes uh, pasta and uh, oil, uh, basil oil and together is a very nice present. Bon appetit. Bye.